It's long been the tradition of presidential inaugurations to include poetry in the ceremony, and tomorrow's gubernatorial swearing-in will be no different. KITV for his Shane Enright reports. No'io koha bird swoops overhead. It is youthful with its power, yet elegant in its design. Its Local is poet Kealoha is making history tomorrow as the first poetry performer at an inauguration of a Hawaii governor. It's a big moment uh, in my, I guess, life and in our lives. This is a transition period for a lot of people we've been waiting for this kind of change to happen. We can create the future. You, me, ideas, beliefs, and dreams. Kealoha's style of poetry first caught Abercrombie's attention when he appeared in a YouTube video supporting Abercrombie's campaign for governor. The 33-year-old says the message of tomorrow's poem echoes Abercrombie's campaign platform. The whole piece revolves around the sunrise, uh, you know, with a new day in Hawaii. The message is of, of excitement and new beginnings and, um, and unity, harmony, um, all those kinds of things that the, ca the campaign uh, stood for. Its heartbeat pulses with economic efficiency. Tomorrow, Kealoha will perform in front of five to 6,000 people at the Iolani Palace, which will broadcast live on air and on the web. He says he is humbled by the opportunity and a little nervous. A little bit, a little bit. I'd be, I'd be not human if I wasn't. But at the same time, everybody's here to just celebrate and be a part of this really historic moment. Among the other performers scheduled for tomorrow are local musician Willie Kay, the Hawaii Youth Opera Chorus, and the Royal Hawaiian Band. Reporting from the grounds of Iolani Palace, Shane Enright, KITV4 News. And you can see and hear them all when you tune in tomorrow morning for live coverage of the inauguration ceremony. As Shane said, live coverage on the air and on our website starting at 11.30 a.m.